Here's the procedure for free residual chlorine test in drinking water sample using Palantis chlorometer. You have chlorometer and check standards. In chlorometer case, you have chlorometer, TPT1 tablet, TPT3 tablet, sample cell, crusher and cell cleaner. In standard case, you have standards, blank and user manual. Always make sure to read user manual before using the meter. Run check standards before running the sample test to ensure that your meter is giving you the correct result. There are two check standard certificate A and B. Use standard certificate B for this instrument. Press on or off button to start the meter. CL25 is displayed on the screen. Set the meter to zero by inserting the blank standard with the orientation mark facing towards you. Press blank sample button towards the left side of the meter. Zero will be displayed on the screen. Insert any of the check standard with the orientation mark facing towards you. And take the reading by pressing read button towards the right side of the meter. Compare the standard result with the value stated in the certificate. Do the same with rest of the check standard. If the correct test method is selected, the value will be within the tolerance range stated on the standard certificate unless there is problem. To run the test sample, set the meter to zero. Fill the sample cell with 10 ml of sample. There are two DPT tablets, DPT1 for free residual chlorine and DPT3 for total chlorine. Add one DPT1 tablet into the sample and dissolve the tablet by gently crushing with the help of a crusher. Wipe the cell with lint-free glue to remove fingerprints and dirt which will interfere the result. And take the reading by pressing read sample button. Note down the result and rinse the cell for the next sample. After the test is done, rinse sample vial with distilled water. Rinse vial cap Turn off the meter by pressing on or off button